up, bros and nose? It's Ashler Optic Midnight, and today we are back for a Loot Crate unboxing. I just almost hit myself in the face. As you guys saw in my last Loot Crate video last month's unboxing, I heard that the next theme was going to be fear. And obviously October, Halloween's like my favorite time of year. Halloween's like my favorite day of the year, basically. So I'm like, oh my god, y'all know they're going to go ham with this crate. So... I didn't even, I didn't look at any other unboxings. I didn't even want to look at Twitter. Like, I saw people tweeting about, you know, what they got in there. So I was like, no, no, I don't want to know. Unless, well, I guess you guys want to know because you're watching this video. But I didn't want to know until I opened it. So I'm super excited. Let's get into it. There we go. Let's open up this bad boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. What is it? <gasps> we got a t-shirt. Oh, my God. It is. It. What? Oh my god, this is the coolest thing I have ever seen, ever. This, yo, this is, if you can't see, okay, you have to be able to see, there's no way you can't. These are cats in the shape of a skull. My first reaction is I have to see what Simba thinks about it, so what do you think about it, bud? How do you feel about the cat shirt? Do you see it? Do you see it? He's like, what are you doing, you freak? Look! There's a shirt where he could care less. He's like, I don't care if my people are on that shirt. It doesn't matter to him. So, okay, I'm gonna let you go play. Go play with your toy. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing this. I am a crazy cat lady myself, obviously. So this is definitely, you know, I gotta rep my brand. Actually, let's put this on right now. And, oh my God, it's like magic. Look, the shirt. Ooh, ooh, girl, kill him. Look at that. I'm excited. Let's get into more of the crate. First things first, let's get out of the way. The official pin for this particular month. I don't have my autofocus on right now, so this is awkward. We then have a, a book. This is an, actually an entire book, which I'm impressed about. How to Survive a Sharknado. Now, ever since the movie Sharknado came out, I've been wondering, oh my freaking god, how am I going to survive that if it ever happens? And now I know. Now, ooh, look at these nasty pictures that are in there. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna, this is just something that you'll flip through. Uh, definitely, I definitely won't flip through this in the bathroom because girls don't poop. Hey, 3D glasses. That's nice. You know, you can never have too many pairs of 3D glasses. Let me, can, this is awkward. Here we go. Ooh, oh shit. Oh shit. Nothing 3D is actually happening, but I have the glasses on and I look like a total badass. Oh shit, this is pretty sick. Is this? This has to be Walking Dead themed. It says, oh, brother. Is that when, uh, well, I don't know. I think it happens in season two of The Walking Dead, the show. Obviously based off the comics. I'm pretty sure this has to be from that when his brother turns into a zombie and he's like, oh, fuck. But that's pretty cool. I think it, I think it's just a picture. I don't really want to open this because it, it does need that cardboard to hold it flat. So that's pretty cool. Frame that beast. Oh, damn. We got some temporary tattoos. So if you want to get a little creative this Halloween, you know, you want to put this slash mark right on your hand or something. You want to just look a little, just a little extra badass this Halloween. You can definitely do that. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know. Where would you put those teeth? That's actually terrifying. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's creative. And then we have Curse Voice. I don't even know what that is. Battleground for the Gods. It's a smite thing. Oh, you unlock something for Smite. Cool. Bam. I've never tried, like I said, my autofocus isn't working right now, but bam, that's that. This is this month's magazine. If you're, wow. Oh, dude, you need your 3D glasses to see the 3D images on this. That's actually cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. I look like a total nerd right now. Just ignore it. But I know this doesn't look as cool to, to you guys as it does to me, but that chick and these dudes, they're all like 3D, like that hand is, whoa, whoa. It's totally 3D because of these glasses, which is actually pretty cool. So, nice touch. And this is just, you know, if you don't know what some of the stuff is in here, you just want information about the crate or next month's crate, it's all in there. Here we go. This will be our uh, exclusive Walking Dead stuff that they were, they were bragging about this on Twitter. Luke Crab was like, we got exclusive Walking Dead stuff. So this looks like a comic issue of The Walking Dead, obviously, like I said. The Walking Dead is a comic series, which is pretty cool. I'll be definitely flipping through that. Lots to read this time. Oh man, what would it, what would it, what would a Halloween or fear themed crate in October be without a little candy? This looks like a terrible warhead. 
You know, I would take this right now, guys, but I actually just got back from the dentist, and I don't know if you can tell, I hope you can, but half of my mouth is numb. <laughs> like, I don't even know if this would be a good idea for me to eat. That looks terrible. I hate sour stuff too, so I'm gonna put that aside, and then, I've been saving this. I don't know what it is. This is the last, and look, look at how sick this box is, by the way. It's got like a garage theme of awesomeness. Zombarinos right there. So anyway, this is the last thing. What is this? Dead Rising 3. Bam. So that's pretty cool. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Look at this weapon, dude. You get like a... Oh, it's not even... So like usually you get like a little figurine like in previous crates. We got Groot. We got freaking Raphael right there. Uh, I, I know I keep looking to my to my left, but that's just because that's where the camera is. Uh, but look at this. We got so we got this is like a, a band or hacksaw thing attached to a sledgehammer thing. So like maybe I can make my figurines like have a fight. Give me the money and no one gets hurt. No, fuck you. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this month's Loot Crate unboxing. This was the one I was most excited for, uh, was this month's Loot Crate. Uh, I actually really, like, I love Halloween and basically anything Halloween-like. So this was definitely right up my alley. I really was excited for it. Like, I was actually literally counting down the days. I'm like, when am I going to get my Loot Crate? And I actually got it yesterday, and I had to wait till today to film the video. And I was like, oh, I want to open it so bad. But... I hope you guys enjoy it. I don't know if you guys like seeing these. I don't typically like to watch the unboxings before I get it because I don't like it to be spoiled for when I do the video for you guys. But this month's was actually really super sick. So props to them. If you guys want to check out Loot Crates, a simple subscription service. You get cool stuff sent to your door every single month. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive. And also if you use code OPTIC at checkout, you'll actually get 10% off your order. So Sim Marino, what do you think about it? What do you think? Meh. Look, he has a weapon now. He can kill me. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill, like, everything here. Look. Yeah, he's got his little weapon. Look at how cute he is. He's so cute. Alright guys, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you do. Check out the links down in the description below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Talk to you tomorrow with another video.